Hello guys, welcome to our samples demonstration video. I'll explain how they work and you can hear how everything sounds. First of all, I'd like you to know that these samples are unprocessed, so you can listen and craft the sound the way you like. I already dragged the files to contact and as you can see, they have a lot of options. I'd like to start with the kick. As you can see from this first page, you have four mic options, which you can control as you wish through volume, panning, routing, solo mute buttons and the phase button switch. In the kick, there's an SM7 and an Audix D6, which were placed on the hole of the kick, and also an Audix i5 pointed right next to the beater. And then a 57 pointed the snare wires, which is a pretty cool feature that I don't see in many sample libraries, and can be a good help if you're looking for something more realistic. I can show you how they sound. Ok, so next you have the overheads and room controls page. Here you can mess with the overhead mics and some room impulses. You also have a left-right swap switch, which may not be useful for the kick, but will be for toms and cymbals. Ok, so next you have the tuning remapping and envelope page. In the case of the kick, there isn't a different tuning, but a different beta type. You can have plastic and felt, so you can choose them as you like. Then you also have a remapping control, which allows you, for example, if you want the kick to be 35 instead of 36, I can show you. Now it's 35. And now it's back to 36. Finally, you have the envelope controls, which I recommend you to mess with, especially the release control, which may help you controlling the shell sustain and even the CPU processing. Ok, so now that I have explained you how the kick works, you should have noticed that all the samples work through the same system, they just have different mics. Moving on to the snare, you even have more mics to play with, and three different tunings. You also have a side stick articulation. On the toms, you have some different mics available. Two different tunings, the 16 inch S3, and also some different room impulses, which I found may work better for toms. The symbols are a bit simpler, they only have overheads and rooms. Some have a spot mic and a remapping matrix for the various articulations. Now I will show you how you could route all the mics through a single contact instance and on a single track. I already created some outputs, which are routed to the same track that contact is on. Let's say I just want to use the D6 and the bottom snare on the kick. I mute all these. I send the D6 to the kick bus and the bottom snare to the snare bus. Also checking the overheads, I will send the overheads to the overhead group and the rooms to the room group. Again, I will choose a room to my liking. For the snare, I will send these all to the snare bus. I normally like the i5, so I'll leave it there. And mute all the remaining ones. Do this again for the overheads. On the snare, sometimes I like the snare play day. So let's go with that. For the toms, let's keep it simple. For this example, I will only choose two toms. You should change the MIDI channel to Omni. Sometimes the MIDI editor will only send the MIDI to one channel, and if this isn't configured well enough, you may have no sound. 
For the toms, I will use the D6 mic. I found that this sounds better for the toms when it is unprocessed. Again route that to toms. Also routing the overheads in the room. Maybe let's try percussion room this time. Let's also send the symbols. <laughs> Now let's have a look at how these sound raw. The sound is still a bit unprocessed, so there's a lot of volume differences. You can tell right away that the kick is pretty low and the hats are pretty high in volume. Let's configure that. And there you have it, you can control it all you like. This is just a quick beat I dragged into Reaper. Now let's try listening to this while I change the tunings and the bitter types. Sounds pretty cool, right? Now we can hear how this sound in a more separated and processed situation. This is from when I played with some friends called No Damn Good and I had to program some drums to help me learn the material.
And there you have it. You can see I went crazy on processing maybe a bit too much, but that's what I normally do. So thanks for watching this video and listening to how these samples can sound. I hope you like them and I hope to make more and better ones in the future. I did this all by myself, so I thank you a lot for your interest. Also, don't forget to check my studio's website and other social networks and also subscribe to my channel if you want more videos from playthroughs to gear demonstrations and much more.